this is the um, this is the Almond Dream Group leadership training. It's the what, Lisa? Which one is this? Which number is this? I think four. Number four. And um, and now we're going to appraise the uh, leaders. We kept the groups itself confidential, but we're going to appraise the the, the Dream Group leader, and she's going to first give a self appraisal. Okay, Lisa. And thank you for this for reminding me to turn on the video. Okay, I, I, I think this time is quite easy because I feel everyone is uh, getting their own tempo and everyone just uh, following up uh, to the next talk. So I think it's quite fluent to me and it's easier <laughs> for me this time. And I feel, I just try to speak a little bit louder. <laughs> I think the, <laughs> the little bit it's like change is for this part. Yeah. I just, I, now I'm gonna stick my nose in here because I'm not supposed to, of course, but I just wanna say something, Lisa. The, the, the fact that everybody made it easier, this is your skill. This is something you did. Because you made it so everyone felt free and easy to come in and really pour their heart into this. So this isn't just something that happened to you. This is your doing. I should I should save this for last, but I'll, I'll forget it. So I'm going to say it now. <laughs> you carry this with you that you did this. Okay, go ahead. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, no, not not really. Okay, okay, that's okay. And um, then we talk. Then we um, we go down the group. And does any, um, give me just one second so I can organize this. Um, does anyone in the group, other than the dreamer or the leader, or, or me, does anyone in the group have anything they'd like to say to Lisa? I, I mean, I hope everyone does. But give her, give her a feeling of how you felt her leadership was. Um, you know, last time she, she led, I sort of picked her apart little pieces and um one reason i gave her this second chance is because she's too good for that you know um so i'm not asking you to pick her apart i'm telling you ask you if you could say what what's special about her and the way she led the group or anything you want to say really you're free to say anything you want who wants to go first i can go first okay good Thanks. okay i think first of all i want to say lisa's voice is really um, they got a magic like it was relaxing you so you can be really comfortable to speak up and to touch your heart like there's no gap between us it's just like it's like her voice is always it can calm your calm my it, 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 the voice is really calm me down so it's just flow into the group so it's just really natural to speak up what I want to say and then the second part is I like the Lisa we um, explained really detail for example for the um, when we go to the second part um, she, she would say okay um, you can you can use this dream as your dream so you start with I think so it's really good hint even I think sometimes I'm not I will forgot all the process and this little hint will really helps me to uh to follow the process and i think lisa is a really um she got like she always got her own um perspective uh not perspective it's all her own idea and i know she's a, a leader but also she's partic participates in um all the process so um you can just easily follow her and she start she started and then you just keep going on I, i'm not sure i'm explaining it well or not but um i think it's just easy for us to to um she light it up and then we just can um express naturally I think that's what I want to say. Thank you, Lisa. Seeing you said you said that beautifully, and I think what you said about her voice, 
I remember when, when Klaus Brown from uh, the, the, the Jungian analyst from Germany came to the leadership training in Taichung. And one of the people, I think it was Joyce, when she appraised him, she said, she talked about his voice and the way he soothed everybody. And then she looked at me and she said, I wish you were more like him. <laughs> but you, it's really true about Lisa. She has a magical voice. It's like the fairies in the garden. Uh, it, it is a, um, it's a velvet, beautiful, soft. She's not pushy. You're right. You caught something very special. It's not what she asked, but also the way she asked it, the way she said it. Very good, very good thing. Who's next? I can go next. Okay, good, Joyce. Um, I, yeah, I really agree what Zin said and what Bill said. It's like, I feel when Lisa does it, it's like Lisa is very confident and she is very gentle memory. So, cause if I were doing it, sometimes when I feel like people are not talking, I would feel the, I will get a bit anxious and feel like I need to fill the blank. But when Lisa does this, she leaves just enough space for, so people can jump in. Cause sometimes it's like, we are feel like the time is limited. So we need to, we need to hurry. So we need to, need to push it. But when Lisa does it, it's like, she gives us enough space so we can think so. and just because she gives us a base so we can all jump in and we have all our time to think and I feel like she's like so that and I think that's the reason why it can go so smooth because we have the space to think and she's very confident and so all the things felt are very how to say comfortable and safe and that's my feedback. That's a very beautiful feedback and it's so true in other words Lisa didn't do this from her ego you know I I was thinking before this group started, I was thinking about all the times I went to the leadership training at Montague Oman's uh, home. And um, all these American dream group leaders, the student leaders, they, they, all of them did it so perfectly. But something was missing. And with Lisa, that's not missing. And um, I think when you people lead, that's not missing. It's not about doing it's perfect. It's about it's about, you called it like an architecture of space. She made space for people, for everybody to participate. And that's not about her, it's not her ego. It's not the American ego, you know, you know America first. It's, it's, the, it's the part of us that's beyond the ego. And I think if Lisa can lead a dream group with that part, then it'll help the dreamer to get the message from that part of herself. So, so, so I think what you said, Joyce, was very important, very brief, but very essential. So thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Who wants to go next? Actually, I think Joyce and Zing kind of, you know, cover all the, cover most of the thing I want to say too. Like, yeah, Lisa having her unique blending voice and tempo, that's really relieving for, for us to join the dream group because for me, dream group could be very emotive, emotive. But here, uh, tonight's dream group, I, I noticed something interesting. I noticed, Bill, you cheat <laughs> uh, about the context. You know, uh, I, I've been let, attending let dream group. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I cheated. Let, let me... I, invented that, I invented that new way. And I found <laughs> yeah, you say it works. Can you tell us what we need to know to the dream dreamer? <laughs> and luckily <laughs> our dreamer is very like she's um Torin is very into and with us. So that that tape work. But what if others were like what you need to know. <laughs> so, well, you know, I, I want to say something. This is a very important issue you raise. I'm glad yeah. you're raising this. You know, because the, the Japanese, they make a pottery. They're, they're masters of their art. They make a, a pottery. If it's too perfect, the idea is to crack it because it has to have an imperfection. And then into those cracks, they pour gold. And they have a word for this. And it's the most perfect masterpiece because it has cracks and the cracks are the gold. Um, Leonard Cohen has a song. He said, everything yeah. has a crack in it. That's how the light gets in. And with yeah. Montague Oman's perfect process, I feel to make it more perfect, we have to 
we have to break it sometimes. And we have to, each of us discover our own way. And with someone who's a master like Torin, who's really a, been trained professionally and is a member of the Dream Group Forum, she doesn't need our help. We can bring her yeah. forth as an expert too and ask. And but somehow, I feel like your, your action tonight is the pretty cool show because I've been a Tantra group for 10 years and I think the most difficult part is how to how do lead, leader know we got enough context. I think the contest is always the difficult one. So because you, you, you're, you're cracking action, so I cannot tell if Lisa do a great job of getting contact and know when we get enough contact and is, is, is the right contact. No, it's no, important. Right, this is really, really important. And there are two mistakes you can make. One is getting too much context. This is irrelevant. And that's easy to make. I did that for years myself. And the other one is just letting it go without getting enough context. We need the context. And sometimes there, there are various, and this also, you know, I, I've been teaching the dream course now, God, for, I think over 10 years at, at the university, sometimes two or three times a week. And if you do it that many times, you pick up these little, I guess you call them tricks or devices or cheating. You pick, discover these ways to make it work when it wouldn't otherwise work. And um, this is one of them that you found. You notice that. You're astute. You're going to be a great dream group leader yourself. And um, I'm glad you pointed that out. I forgot about that already. <laughs> but it's, um, it's been <laughs> watching you. <laughs> okay, so who, who's next? Who's teacher? Do you want to say more? No, that's I. I don't like to say more all the time. I, I like to make my words simple. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> okay, who? The other reason is my English got rusty because I speak too many Spanish and my partner's English is bad. So some, now I make very wrong grammar. Like she, I would say he, or the sentence would become Spanish lies. Yeah, that's the, other, the true reason is that. When I was at the university, I studied French and I studied German and I studied Spanish. And then when I first went to Europe, I got all mixed up and I would be in France and I'd be speaking German, Spanish, French, all the languages got mixed up. And this is, um, <laughs> yeah, I think your English is perfect. Don't worry about your English. Yeah, Espanol igual. Perfecto. Okay, so who's, who's next? Who has not? Me. Yachuen. Okay, Yachuen. Thank you, Lisa. I think you are very professional dream group leader and you are very gentle and confident. Uh, you are like a flight captain. You drive very, <laughs> you, you bring us um, to have, uh, to enjoy the, the flying journey, very comfortable. You know, and, uh, you're trying, funny you're coming up with that metaphor, because last time Lisa led, when I gave her all that criticism, I said, I looked at her and I said, but you landed the plane. Yes, be safe. You come up with the same metaphor. You, you, you help us to landing safely. Yeah, and enjoy the journey. Okay, well, enjoy the journey. Thank you very much. Uh, now, I think that's everybody, am I wrong? Um, okay. So now, now we, we hear from, um, now we hear from the dreamer, uh, we hear from the dreamer now. And here's, here's Torin, and um, hmm. would you like to say something? Yeah, well, thank you, Lisa, for your excellent leadership. You really know the method. <clears throat> and um, you've already touched on, on what I feel about your leadership too. Um, so I'm trying, I'm a bit jet lagged, so I can't find the words, but you know, it's for uh, Lea dan de Enkelt. Again, that's Swedish, no? Yes, for Lea dan de Enkelt, which is, huh. you think it's, it may, might come across as simple, but that's because that is because you have an experience and then you can lean onto the 
uh, routine, seemingly easy. You know, instead of a poet, anybody can write a complicated poet, poem, but to write a simple poem, that's the work yeah. of the master. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's a very beautiful po point you made. I think it's true for, for, for Lisa that she, she makes it seem so easy. Yes. But you try to do it yourself. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Notice that nobody has repeated what other people said. Everybody mm. here came up with something completely different. Mm. Go ahead, go ahead there. And go. I wanted to add um, your presence, Lisa, because you are, you look at the dreamer and you, when there is time for you to come in, you're there. So you're not, your timing is perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Lisa, this uh, Lisa, this this is from someone who's been trained professionally in the, in the Dream group, Swedish Dream Group Forum saying this of you. So, congratulations. Honor. <laughs> that feels no honor. And thank you. I was also contemplating when people were um, commenting on on your voice and on somebody else's voice and bill said you don't have that voice or someone didn't didn't missed it in you and then i was experiencing that if you don't have it in the your voice you have it somewhere else so with your um detailed eye and um what's it called uh, your ability to word it bill that's the same thing but different you know do you follow me Tom, you gave me something very important thank you i've always worried about that voice thing that he said to me i thought really but you really touched me you really touched me with what you said you have touched every person in this group now you touch me too <laughs> oh <laughs> so thank you Thank you, Bill. Thank you for being the one you are. Mm. Thank you. And um, so I get, oh, it's me. I, I already said a lot of things, so I'm not going to say anything else. Lisa, you, where, where's, where's Lisa? Yeah. Well, well Lisa, you, you, you escaped with flying colors this time. Not one word. Of, so, so congratulations. Thank you. Now I'm I'm gonna end it now. Does anyone wanna say anything else? I'm gonna I'm glad I'm wanna thank you for giving me the second time to read. And I still remember the last time I read, the first time I feel my twins gonna crush <laughs> and I'm happy mm. this time like flying very easy and we landing um to a very beautiful place. So thank you everyone. I feel Evan it weren't every one of you we will then get the beautiful of the dream so thank you you know what you said what you said lisa touches on the very essence of the almond dream group process it's not it's not me you him or her it's every one of us this is a group yeah. process and everyone here added something that no one else could have added yeah. so thank you thank you everybody now Tor and i hope you come back something if you can't come you said you don't think you can come back, but I hope you come back because we like you in this group and I think you would fit in. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll check my diary. I hope it's um, showing me freedom this time next Sunday. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye, okay. everybody. I'm turning it off. Okay. Bye-bye.